Hey everybody, this video is going to be an introduction to the rule of nine, uh, which is a quick way to determine the percentage of total body surface area that has been burned in a person, typically used in EMS or emergency settings. Um, but it's pretty important to actually do this even, even in uh, you know, hospital management of a burn case because this percentage can be used in things like the Parkland formula, which we'll get to in a different video. But kind of the idea is, uh, you know, this, this number actually has some clinical significance in the management of burn cases. So it is important that everyone is able to do this from a first responder to a nurse to a physician, um, you know, et cetera. Uh, and basically what it is is it divides the body into a system um, of numbers so you can quickly compute how much surface area has been burned. Now, I'm going to teach you an easy way to remember it, um, but you kind of got to stick with me to the end, okay? So, um, very quickly, if you're doing this on a test or an exam and you're not sure if you have it right, we'll just draw out a person like I have here on the board and label it what you think is right and then tally up the numbers, and they should equal 100%, right? So, just do this really quick, make sure it equals 100, and then you know that you have the, uh, the right percentages and, and nothing is a little wacky. Um, now, the first one because I always forget it and it's the easiest one to remember for some reason, is that the genitalia and the perineum or you know the, the groin area is gonna be 1%. And that's, you know, people call me out and say, well, it doesn't equal 100%, it's because I forget the one. So we're gonna do that first. So the groin area is 1% of the total body surface area. Um, now, the rest of these here, we have, a lot of these you're gonna notice are just dealing with how big they are. But so I'm going to put some numbers up here, okay? So, <clears throat> now what's bigger, an arm or a leg? Well, an arm is. Okay, so we have our arms are going to be 9% each. Our legs, which are bigger, are going to be 18% each. Now, what's bigger, a torso or a leg? Well, a torso is. So this, you know, we're just moving up from, from uh, you know, smallest to biggest here. So arms, 9 times 2 is 18 times 2 is 36. And if you, you know, need to subtract, well, the only thing left is 9 for the head. It's so just, you know, it's 9, 18, 36, rule of 9s, right? So if you just remember rule of 9s, we're going to start with 9s. We're going to start with the arms. So 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 18 times 2, 36, and uh, 1 for the perineum or the groin, and that only leaves 9 left. That gives you a total of 100%. Now, you notice I put this up here as if this is just one you know, like one dimensional or two, you know, blob here, but we have a backside, right? So this is just the front torso with like the uh, umbilicus and the nipples and that sort of thing. But there's also a back to this person, right? And so it's very simple. Just divide this 36 and a half. So like if your problem says, or if this patient only has burns on their back, well, they're not going to have full 36% burns because they only have burns on their back. So it's only, it's going to be 18. It's going to be half this. Right? So if only the back side of the right arm is burned, we're not going to give them a full 9%, we're giving them 4.5. And that's really the extent, um, at least in, in problems and in exam situations, that you're going to have to, to whittle this down or subtract these numbers, or divide these numbers rather. Now if you're actually in an emergency setting, it's going to be a lot more tricky, right? Because the person's going to have like a burn here, and then uh, you know, like a burn here. And so you're not going to say, well they have 36 plus you know, nine or whatever, I guess it'd be half. So you're not gonna have 18 plus 4.5. No, and that's kind of that's kind of tricky. But we're dealing with these large cases where people, you know, fell on top of the bonfire, that sort of thing, and so their entire backside is burned, or their entire torso, back of their torso and right arm is burned. So that's where, the, that's where these numbers are really gonna come in handy. It's a quick and dirty guide uh, to add that up. So the keys to remember, rule of nines. So since nine is in the title, we're gonna start with our nines, multiply by two to get our bigger, uh, body parts multiply by two to get our biggest body part. The only thing left is a nine for the head. Don't forget the one for the groin, and that's a quick and dirty, you know, guide to the rule of nines. Um, you know, if you want, I'll kind of write up here what half this would be for people that don't want to divide. So that each side would be 4.5, 4.5. Each side of the torso would be 18, 18, 4.5, 4.5. And then nine, nine for both these guys, right? Um, one thing to note <clears throat> is that this is only for the adult. Now, uh, infants, which we'll have another video on, and, and small children, they have different body proportions, right? They have really large heads compared to the rest of their body. So their rule of nine is going to be a little bit different. 
I invite you to check out our video on infant rule of nines to kind of see what's going on there and our video on the Parkland formula to see the real clinical significance of being able to calculate uh, the percentage of total body surface area burned. Thank you.